let's take a look at GCOA 5. We're still on that topic, uh, but we're looking uh, further down the line where we're now we've learned about transformations, and now we're going to do composite or composite uh, transformations, meaning two of them or three of them or four of them in a row. When you do a sequence of transformations, one of the important questions to ask is does the more order they come in matter? And uh, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Let's look at a case where it does matter. So here we're going to translate first and then perform a reflection. So I don't have uh, points, you know, grid points here, but basically the idea is let's say I translate three to the right to get here and then I reflect that over the y-axis so I would result in this location. So a translation three to the right and then a reflection over the y-axis. What would happen if we did it in the other order if we first reflected and then translated? So a reflection first would place a prime somewhere close to that location and then a translation of 3 to the right places it here. Notice this location and this location. Very different spots. Uh, the order matters greatly. I mentioned sometimes it doesn't matter. Um, the reason it doesn't matter sometimes is when you're performing transformations that do not reference a location or a line in the plane. The reason why these things are a matter is because the line is a fixed area and so by the way you translate you're either getting closer to the line or further away from that line. If you were to do two translations for instance it wouldn't matter the order because there's no reference point that's locked into place. So let's take a look now at double reflections. Actually, you know, before I do that, I want to actually talk about notation a little bit here. Um, notation uh, written in a composite manner comes uh, in two forms. It can be written like this, or it can be written in a uh, composite format. So let me show you what that would look like. Now, this would be the notation that we would use to translate by 3 comma 0 followed by a reflection over the y-axis. So it's very unique the way it's written. Normally we would do the translation first, write it first, then we would do the reflection next, write it next. This is a mathematical sequence that says to triangle ABC first do the translation and get that result and then take that result and do the reflection over the y-axis. So notice it's written backwards to the way it's formatted. Now this is similar to uh, our, our methodology for composite functions. They're written in this manner. You may not be working with these yet, but the idea is you work from the inside to get an answer and then you work with the function that is enclosing it. So you do this in uh, a reverse manner. This would happen first, this would happen second. So the one over here, if I was to write it down, I would write it in the order that it comes in. Reflect first, so we would reflect over the y-axis uh, triangle ABC and then we would perform the translation of 3 comma 0. This happens first, this happens second. Let me just do a couple examples uh, that aren't quite so generic and on, on a grid so you can actually see the difference again. Here's an example of uh, a rotation of 90 followed by a translation of 3 and 5. Again, we're, we're going to find that these are going to matter, the order, because if you're rotating something about O, O is this fixed point, 
And uh, by doing the translation before or after that, it definitely matters because it'll depend on how close you are. Well, let's do a rotation first. Um, let me see here. I'll do it 90 degrees. Of course, 90 degrees is a counterclockwise direction. So we get uh, we get this, and we land into these spots. I can mark those quite quickly. Now, one thing I could have done instead of pulled out my patty paper, because patty paper sometimes uh, is a little bit of work, is I could have used my rule. So, for instance, this is a 2 and 8. So the rule for rotating 90 is to switch and negate, which would be negative 8 and 2. See, that's where I'm at. This location is at 7 and 2. Switching and negating that x value would be negative 2, 7. This is 7 and, what is that, 7 and 6. So that would be negative 6, 7. And now if we translate everything 3 to the right and 5 down. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Final spot. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is my final resting place if I do it in this order. If I do the translation first, 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3. And then, oops, five down. One, two, three, four, five. There's A prime. One, two, three. And then five down. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five down. Now these locations, when I rotate them 90 now, so this is at five and three, that would make it at negative three and five. See how my rules help me out quite a bit here? This is 10 and 1, so it would be negative 1 and 10. And then this is 10 and negative 3. And um, that would become uh, 3 and 10. 3 and 10. And so this would be my final resting place, which is quite a bit different from this one. Order definitely matters. Let me just also reconnect on this idea of notation. Um, these are the two. Uh, this is how the notation works here. Remember, this actually would imply to do the reflection first. And this is probably little r for reflection first and then the translation. So you get the result of the reflection first, and then you translate it. Okay? So, for instance, down here, it's giving us uh, in description and wants the rule written. It says, given ABC, translate it first. So we would actually, notice I'm in the inside, translate it first, and then reflect it over the x-axis. See, I'm writing that backwards, but it's basically saying translate first, then do the reflection. Here, this says rotate first, so it would be rotate about the O73 degrees, and then translate it by 11,9. This happens first, this happens second. Order matters in general. And uh, in composite notation, it's inside out.